Hey everyone, it's Slaney and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning to my channel, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. How are you guys doing today? Since it is Valentine's Day right now, as I'm filming this, I hope you guys are having a love-filled day. We just got back from our Valentine's Day. We went to a Brazilian restaurant and we went and saw Fifty Shades Darker. It might have been my second time seeing it because I read the books and I'm kind of obsessed. Anybody else? Huh? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> um, leave comments below with what you guys did for your Valentine's Day either over the weekend or today on actual Valentine's Day. I'd love to hear from you guys. And I had to film real fast because I realized something was in the mail when I got home. Oh, yes. BoxyCharm is here in a day early, I might add. My tracking said it would be here tomorrow. Pretty exciting. Okay, so let's bust this baby open because I might have sneak peeked it online. I might have because I feel like mine was a little bit late compared to a lot of people's BoxyCharm this month. So I, I, did, I did a little sneaky peeky, a little sneaky peeky there online to see what was in there. And this month is good. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning right now, and I'm getting weird. <laughs> Never fails. It's like 10.30 or later, I get weird. And this month's theme is, would you be my galantine? I don't know what that means, galantine? I don't know what the G's for. Gal galantine? I don't know. Not so sure what that means, Boxy Charm, but I like the heart theme, very cute, and it looks like there's all kinds of good stuff in here, so let's just get to crack. Cracked it open, let's get, I don't know. Okay, so, all of the first two items I'm pulling out here are so exciting. Oh, I think I have this one, one uno momento. I don't have that one. Even better, even better. Okay. You guys are like, what are you talking about right now? Because I didn't even say what it is. It is two eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. They're little eyeshadow pans. Super exciting because I love Makeup Geek. If you've watched my channel before, I'm a, definitely a big fan of Makeup Geek. So this is a great addition. Although I'm running out of room in here, so I'm gonna do some rearranging. These are two eyeshadow pans and they retail for $12. These are the color Beaches and Cream, which I thought I had, but I have Peach Smoothie. So. Very similar, I must say that. They're they're quite similar to each other. Just a really great matte skin tone there, so perfect for setting your primer or just getting your crease ready. Can't go wrong there. Then the next one is Glamorous, which I know I don't have. Although I've got some similar shades in here. This is Glamorous. I don't have any exactly like it. Swatch this one. This looks like a shimmer. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Just a very delicate shimmer, n not bold, not overboard. A little bit coppery there, very pretty. Definitely a good addition. I was kind of hoping I would get some bold shades, just because I love bold, but honestly, I probably could use some more like this because I don't have to be bold every single day, okay? Not every day, just most days. <laughs> Next I see something that will come in very handy since I'm just saying I'm running out of room. Here is a magnetic palette. This is a small Z palette by Z palette, $14. It fits up to nine standard eyeshadow pans. That's wonderful. So I will do some rearranging with my big Z palette and throw some stuff in here. I'm kind of thinking about putting either my foiled or putting duochrome in here, kind of making a concise palette for just a particular type of eyeshadow. Maybe duochrome, because I don't think I have as many duochrome. So maybe that's what I'll use this for. Maybe. But definitely a great thing to receive in BoxyCharm. I mean, everybody can use this. Everybody, right? I think. Hmm? Hmm? I know. I need to just calm it down just a little bit. Okay, what do I have next? Oh, oh I got the one I wanted. So if you don't know about, you guys, I just realized, I'm so sorry. If you don't know what BoxyCharm is, a monthly beauty subscription that is $21 a month, you get usually four to five full-size items, which is super awesome compared to some of the other beauty subscriptions out there on the market. Full-size is what I'm looking for and what I think is worth spending my money on. And I have loved BoxyCharm every single month. Seriously, have not been disappointed yet. And I think I'm going on like 14 months of subscribing. So that's pretty good. That's really good, actually. This is what I was hoping for. BoxyCharm has become so popular 
in the last, I want to say like six months, that there are multiple versions of boxes getting sent out. In the beginning, everyone got the same box. Now they're having to switch it up because there's so many people subscribing. And there was different brushes featured in some of the boxes, and I'm so glad I got these. This is the Trio Eye Kit by Sedona Lace. Retail price is $39.50. I can't read. $39.95. I thought these would come in handy. So I have an eyebrow eyebrow brush with the spoolie and this is quite precise which will be nice because I could really get in and define the outer corner of my eye because I've gotten back into going to get my eyebrows threaded so this will definitely come in handy for a little bit more precise preciseness to be a little bit more precise I don't know anyways okay this one I'm really excited to try out you guys know if you've been to my channel before I struggle with the wing I'm not gonna lie about it winged eyeliner is really tricky for me I'm not an expert at all in anything that I do on here but really not an expert when it comes to winged liner I have hooded eyes and it is very difficult for me look at this one this is one of those angled eyeliner brushes it's kind of chubby, so I don't know how that'll work for me. But I wonder if this will help me with my... To be like a little bit more steady. I just... I almost wonder if I trimmed these myself to make it a little bit more pointed. I'll give it a go, but I don't know. I'm just... I kind of feel like this is easier for me. I mean, I know I'm not actually putting anything on my face, but I feel like... I feel like that could work better. I'm really excited to try that out. This is just a nice powder brush here. Excellent for putting color all over the lid, especially setting primers. Very soft bristles on this. Very, very soft. And it's so cute. It's an ombre brush. And the packaging just looks super nice on these. Really, really excited about this. The next thing in my box is the Mineral Matte Lipstick by Duce? Doce? I want to say something else. But I don't think that's how you pronounce it. This is what the packaging looks like. Super sleek being gunmetal. This says it's a... I feel like I have like a fuzzy on my nose that I can see. Sorry, I keep going like this. It says a pure color lipstick that glides on effortlessly, giving you a rich and velvet... I cannot read the slate into the night. Giving you a rich and velvet matte finish infused with SPF 10. That's awesome. Vitamin E. And let's see what color this is. Oh. It's red. I really don't need another red lipstick. Hmm. Kind of sad I got red. A little sad about this. Really don't need another red. I'm not going to swatch this because I'm probably going to end up giving this away to a friend because I have several red lipsticks and I really don't need another one. Darn, I was hoping it was a matte. I it is a matte. I mean a nude. I really could use some more nude lipsticks. But very pretty packaging and looks like a nice lipstick. And the last item in here has to be the one I'm most excited for, and that is the Microdermabrasion by Dr. Brandt. I have been wanting to buy a some type of exfoliator, and I cannot believe this is in here. It comes in at $79. $79. It says... The original skin exfoliating procedure, dampen skin with warm water, slowly and gently massage cream into skin for one to two minutes, avoiding eye area, rinse well, pat dry. Best if used one to two times per week, allowing three days between applications. I am so excited for this. I actually had an exfoliator in my shopping cart on Sephora's website, and now I don't have to do that. It's right here. I spent $21 on the box, and this right here is $79. That makes this, even though I'm a little disappointed, with the lipstick, this makes the box 130,000% worth it. I mean, this right here is so exciting. Very excited about this. Overall, I think my box went really well. I'm not disappointed in the box. I wish I would have got a different lipstick shade, but hey, I'll live. I got the microdermabrasion by Dr. Brand. That's it right there. Like, that's all I really need to show you guys because that's how awesome that product is. I would love to hear what you guys got in your boxy charm. Leave comments below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Valentine's Day hugs for everybody. Big ones, little ones, hugs for all. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I love getting to know you guys better. And as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.